Another man who's made an incredible return after a knee reconstruction is, of course, Stephen Moore. He is this week's Player in Focus, brought to you by Land Rover. Now it's Moore. Moore! He's over! Well, Steve, here we are in week six, and it appears you've made a seamless return from the knee reconstruction. Is that the case? Yeah, I think physically my, my knee felt good right from the start. I had a really good rehab with no, no real hiccups. Uh, I think the lungs took a few weeks to catch up, that's for sure, and I certainly felt it in the first few weeks. Uh, I was a little bit behind the, the pace there, but uh, I think that's started to come now, and I feel really good out in the field. So, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, hopefully something I can put behind me now. Some players handle the injury trauma better than others. What helped you to cope? Yeah, you know, I think I had an excellent uh, you know, rehab program here. Ben Serple here looks after the rehab group really well, and obviously David Pocock was with me along along the way, and he'd been through it the year before, so I had plenty of uh, support there. And I guess it was good to see him get through the stages and know that that's what I was going to be going through as well. And I guess we probably helped each other out a lot. He was going through it for his second time, uh, which mentally would have been really tough. Uh, and for me, that was my first major injury, so. Uh, that was, it was certainly very different being out for that long, but uh, I guess I tried to use it as a positive as much as I could and, and freshen up mentally um, as well as physically. Yeah, not a good sign at all. He's in a lot of pain. Well, a freakish accident, that one. So unfortunate. You have some unfinished business as Wallaby captain, so what will it mean to you if you get the opportunity to lead your country again? Oh, look, that's, that's something that's obviously been widely spoken about and it was certainly disappointing at the time to, to miss out like that, but uh, that's rugby, that's the game we're in and if that opportunity comes along again, then so be it. Uh, but rugby's a team game and I, I know uh, everything will be done in the best interest of the team and, and I'm just hoping to play a part in that. I think this year is just a huge year for the Wallabies, full stop. Uh, we haven't got many tests before the World Cup, but. Uh, that World Cup's going to come around really quickly and I'd just love to get as deep as we can into that tournament and, um, and I think we've got a good enough team to do that. So uh, it's a really exciting time and I'm just hoping to be involved. It's a huge game this Sunday against the Waratahs in Sydney. Rob Horn says you guys are the favourites. Is that how you see it? Oh, look, I think there's going to be a fair bit of that this week. Um, you know, both teams deflecting back to the, to the other team and that's pretty standard in a week like this. Um, you know, we're, we're playing on their home turf, uh, they're the champions. We know the task ahead of us, we're going to have to play really well and uh, if we do that we'll give ourselves a chance. Have you spoken about revenge, avenging last year's loss to the Tars in the semi-final? Not really revenge, not at all. I think they were clearly the best side in the competition last year. I think one thing about Super Rugby, the, the best team always wins and that certainly happened last year. Over the period of the competition the Waratahs were the best team and they deserve to win. So. Uh, yeah, we've started the season pretty well and we, we certainly know that this is a big step. These are the type of games we've got to fire in if we want to win the comp.